Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, but keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? So, what do we have for a message today? Or, you know, whenever it happens, it happens, right? What do we have for a message today? Well, this is the King of Wands, the King of Wands in reversed. <laughs> Angry. Anger. Um, I feel like it's anger. I feel like we have somebody here that d didn't didn't get what they want or something like that. Ah, oh, justice reverse. That is uh, an argument or uh, no resolution in sight. There's some sort of unfair treatment here. I mean, we've been getting this card every day. This is like the third day in a row. So there's an injustice, there's unfair treatment, there's an imbalance here. We could have poor health as well. I feel like we have an argument with no resolution in sight. Some something so, uh, somebody has it's like a decision has not gone in somebody's favor and this person is angry. They're upset. They thought that they were going to save the day. They thought that they were going to get what they wanted. They thought they were going to get it, but they're not getting it. So, they're not getting what they want. So, I feel like there's some sort of um anger because of it. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles reverse. Now this is a uh some some sort of loss, losing an argument, some or losing something of value because this is a profit and a loss, the two of pentacles. Somebody has lost something that they could have profited from. They could have gained something from. They may have overdone it. They may have, uh, you know, tried to get more than they, than something was worth. This was lack of integrity. Somebody did something that it was not an integrity. And now they're angry that they're not getting the profit. They're not getting what they thought they were going to get. That's what I see. I feel like we, we have somebody here that uh, was trying to do too much. You know, they were trying to make too much of a profit. Whether this is with money or with a partnership. It is does have to do with a partnership. It may have to do with a contract between a man and a woman. Because we have a man and a woman here. We have a contract here. It doesn't have to be a man and a woman. But it, I feel like we have two people that um, are not in agreement. There's a lack of agreement here. Um, and somebody's not getting what they thought they were going to get. And I think they're not getting what they thought they were going to get. Because they were... It feels like there's there's a lack of integrity. They... We're trying to get too much, you know. There's assholes wherever you go. Yes, this is definitely about money. This is about money or a profit or a gain or an investment. Okay? This is somebody who... Uh, was looking for some sort of uh, to make a profit on something that wasn't in integrity. This is somebody that is probably uh, not very noble, okay, with the King of Wands in reverse. That is somebody who isn't noble, that is untrustworthy next to the Justice reverse. This is somebody who lies, you know, for their own benefit. They overdid it. They overdid it. They they overdid it a uh, an estimate or a quote or an offer or something like that. Uh, but what is coming? This the, this is somebody that is trying to build up financial security. The Knight of Pentacles, um, very hardworking, typically uh, interested in financial success, trying to build up their financial 
success. So we do have somebody here that has done something that they shouldn't have done. And I feel like uh, they've gone overboard with that Two of Pentacles reverse. You know, they overdid it. They, they overdid it. Um, and there's a need to reprioritize. So I do believe that this person is angry. They are upset that they didn't get what they thought they were going to get. And so they're thinking or they're planning on making, maybe they're going to make a new offer. Somebody maybe make, you know, they're reprioritizing re now. Now they're reprioritizing because they didn't get the, the win. They didn't, they didn't win with the justice reversed. So I think that we have somebody here that is upset that they didn't win. And they may be reprioritizing, you know, to come up with a better plan, to come up with a better offer. Because that Knight of Pentacles is somebody that plans and uh, negotiates and works hard. So we do have a hard worker here that is probably reprioritizing right now. And they may have, they may, this person, this could, it does have to do with a partnership because that two of pentacles is a partnership. This person is angry. They are upset. They are feeling, um, and they may even be hot because I want to say hot. They're hot. They're, they're angry that something didn't go in their favor. So a decision was made and it didn't go in their favor and now they're angry. So there's some sort of reprioritizing going on right now. Um, hangman reversed. Oh, goodness gracious. Three of Wands. Now, Three of Wands is about getting prepared. Get prepared because something is coming. I think that uh, there's been... Well, this is about somebody has been getting ready. They've been getting ready. The time is coming. Here they come. They're coming. Somebody is coming with an offer. Somebody has been enlightened. Now that hangman reversed is refusing and struggling. Somebody is, if we have an, somebody here that is egotistical, for sure, absolutely egotistical. This person is very much focused on their money. They're focused on what they can gain, what they can get. What can I get out of this? So, um, obsessed, obsessed, maybe obsessed with money. We have somebody here and is obsessed. <laughs> anyway, hangman reverse. This is somebody that uh, is struggling to let go of something. They don't want to let go of the opportunity because the Knight of Pentacles has a golden opportunity in their hand. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this person that has the offer, that has the money. This is the person that is probably has the money, that is going to be paying out the money, has probably chosen another option. And they're dealing with a somebody that is struggling to let go of the offer, and they're upset. So this person is upset that they didn't get the offer. Interesting. Ah, we have an arrival. I believe there is going to be an arrival. This is somebody showing up. Uh, getting in the driver's seat, somebody may, and, and with the three of wands, I wanted to say arrival as well. So I do believe there is an arrival. Okay. We have somebody that is probably going to be, uh, coming back around. Maybe they're going to be making another offer. Interesting. Traveling. There's some sort of travel here. There could be an offer or an invite that is coming. Somebody, another offer or another invite. Somebody may be even getting a proposal. And, and it could, in this proposal, people hear the word proposal and they think marriage. This, I don't feel like it could be, but I don't feel like this is a marriage proposal. I feel like it's a, it's some other kind of proposal. Somebody's going to be receiving an offer, an invite, or a proposal to go someplace. Maybe, I don't know, take a ride.
Could be dealing with Pisces, could be dealing with a Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra. I feel like I feel like we have uh, somebody that wants victory. They want the victory. They want the success. They and they they want this opportunity, and they're not willing to let it go. They want to hang on to the opportunity. Somebody wants to hang on to an opportunity, and I feel like they're going to take charge. They're going to take lead. They're going to take the lead. They're going to do something. They're going to reprioritize whatever they need to reprioritize to get the victory that they need to get. You know that they want to get this is somebody that is obsessed with being in control and they are obsessed with winning and they are probably obsessed with uh, well it's obsessed with winning I think I think I think it's obsessed with uh, things going in their favor this is somebody that is used to winning they are used to things going in their favor and that's why they are so angry and upset I feel the anger this person is hot they're hot. And I feel like there's no resolution because they've lost. They've lost something to an opponent or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, temperance reverse. So temperance reverse is definitely overboard. This is extremes. Somebody has done something that is inappropriate. They have done something inappropriate. And this person has done it before. And they've always gotten away with it. There's inappropriate behavior here. There is. This is somebody that is extremely stubborn. That fights change. That likes to prove that they are the best. And they do not like to lose this is somebody that does not like, nobody likes to lose, right? Anyhow, that temperance reversed is, and we definitely have in, an imbalance here. Somebody is, is definitely not happy. They are feeling um, unbalanced right now, and it could, it's probably mentally unbalanced. Something, ha something is off, you know? And I think that whoever they're dealing with is very, uh, What's the word for it? This person is responsible, reliable, hardworking, has um, some sort of experience behind their back. So I feel like whoever it is that they're trying, I feel like I feel like we have somebody who's trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes. But they're dealing with somebody that is very grounded, that is very realistic, that is very, very practical. And it's hard to pull the wool over somebody's eyes that is very practical. Anyhow, there's a need to re-examine, and I do think that we have an individual that is angry and upset that they did not win, whatever this win is, and there is going to be a re-examination of an offer. They're going to be redoing the offer, and it's because they want to win. Anyhow, um... There's inappropriate behavior here. There is. There's lies. Somebody has lied. Obsessed. Obsessed with money. Obsessed with winning. I feel like there's some sort of competition here. And we have somebody here that is very, extremely frustrated. They are. They are extremely frustrated with a loss. And they need to re-examine where they're going. They need to re-examine who they are. Honestly. We have somebody here that is... The hangman reverse is somebody that is, somebody that is obsessed with control that is highly egotistical, that wants to prove something or wants to get something for their own benefit and will not change. This is somebody that will never change and is struggling to let go. This is somebody that is fighting their inner self. They're fighting, you know, 
balance. It's, there's no balance here. We got no balance, no balance, no balance. They're fighting. Um, well, there's no love here. There is no love here. They're they're fighting against. Well, there's no love here. There is no love here. This is somebody that is all about money. Struggling to accept. This is struggling. No accept. Somebody is really struggling to accept the truth or to accept a loss. And I feel like uh, this person that is, that is struggling to accept the loss is going to make another offer. And, and you think about the three of wands. That's hoping and praying for the best. So I do believe that we have somebody hoping and praying that they're they're going to be accepted or whatever. I do believe that somebody is going to be making an offer after they have been rejected because this is a rejection. They've been rejected. They've been rejected because I feel like there's some sort of competition here. So this is taking charge, getting in the driver's seat, going in a new direction, moving forward, mastering emotions, doing whatever it takes to have victory. So I do believe we have somebody here that is very determined, very, very, very term determined to uh, have a victory after they have, I feel like they've been rejected. And they may have been rejected by somebody else. They may. This could go in a different direction. There is a rejection here from a contract. Somebody may have been let go of a contract in a different contract, and now they're re-examining something that was stable, that was solid, that was secure. There is a solid, stable offer that is coming, and there is a new direction here with that chariot card. That is. That is somebody that is determined to have success, even if it means uh, going in a new direction. There could be an angry outburst ahead. There could. There absolutely could. Somebody could be dealing with an individual that uh, lies a lot, that doesn't tell the truth, that is engaging... Uh, And negative behavior. There is definitely bad behavior here. Somebody could be packing up and moving as well with that chariot card. That is, somebody could be packing up and moving, going someplace else. Taking the high road. There's also some addictions here, obsessions. We have a partnership that is very, very, very unbalanced. There's no reciprocation. It's one-sided. And it's one-sided because I feel like somebody may be... Well, I had the Seven of Swords. It's not on the bottom anymore. Anyhow, if somebody's hiding something. And the same with the hangman. Could be a Pisces. Somebody is hiding something. They're hiding something. Now, this is a spur of the moment decision at that crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? That's what's up next. Somebody is going to be making a decision as to whether they should stay or go, whether they should let go of whatever it is they've been hanging on to. Maybe they've been hanging on to it just for the money. 
there is an opportunity here that is stable, that is solid, that can lead to victory and success. There is. But there is also a need to re-examine the current contract you're in and deal with your fears. Because the King of Wands in reverse is fearful. Okay, this is somebody that is afraid. Is afraid of legalities or afraid of not winning or afraid of... Uh, being alone, maybe? Because we have partnership here a couple times. We have somebody here that wants to be in a partnership. They want the union. They want, or they want a union. And they're struggling to let go of something that is not balanced, that is not uh, justified, right? It's not. So I do feel like there's a re-examination that is going on. I, I, I feel infidelity as well for some of you. For some reason, I, wanna, I feel like there's some sort of infidelity here. Somebody has been struggling to let go of something that is not, it's not even a fair, balanced partnership. Okay? It's not. Why would you struggle to hang on to something when there's no equality, where there's no equal give and take, same thing as equality, where there's no balance, where there's no uh, harmony, right? Where's the harmony here? There isn't any. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves, holding on to something that is costing them it's really really costing them anyhow there's an opportunity for success opportunity for success but it will require somebody to accept change temperance reverses i don't want to accept change i don't want to i don't want to i'm scared i'm scared somebody is scared to accept that change is needed But the Two of Wands being the last card, that is a decision. Do you stay or do you go? So that's what's happening. Somebody is going to be making a decision. They've been struggling to make this decision. Probably because of pride. But I do see moving. So this could chariot can definitely be moving. Somebody may be making a big move. So I do see moving in a new direction. I think we have somebody here that's probably going to be leaving a situation. I also see a new offer coming in. Okay. This is something that could last because the Knight of Pentacles is a stable, solid opportunity to build a foundation that can be successful, but it will require somebody to remove themselves from a contract or a partnership that they feel something is off, and they're right, something is off. They have to remove themselves from the situation, you know, and that's going to take strength and it's going to take courage and it's going to take willpower. And I feel like we have somebody here that has been weak, okay? They have been weak and maybe they've allowed themselves to be controlled, maybe by their ego, maybe by their pride or by somebody that has money, which would relate to ego and pride. If you stay with somebody just for the money... And you got a problem because there ain't no love in these cards. And love is where it's at, don't you think? Good luck.